Hello everyone, I'll be doing the unboxing for the Whitex CPE513P kit here. Uh, this is the 300 megabits point-to-point uh, -point access bridge from Whitex. Uh, so what, what I'll be doing here is I'll be unboxing, showing you what you get inside. Obviously you get both of the beams included and inside you obviously get uh, the installation manual. Um, you get the included Cat5 cable. And uh, just I'll move on to that in a second. We've got the PoE injector as well. Uh, so you do have to use the PoE injector. Unfortunately, uh, they do not yet work through switches. We don't know if it's something that will be coming in the future, but as of yet, you do have to go through the PoE injectors. And here's obviously your mounting bracket for putting onto a pole. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show how easy it is to pair these up. So using the 48 volt power uh, PoE injector, uh, you'll plug these into a, obviously into main socket and just using the cable included. I've used a just a black cable because that's what we had out at the time. Um, so you just plug that into the WAN port on the right hand side. Um, what these will do is they'll start scanning uh, and they'll both land on a different channel. Uh, but after about a minute or two of waiting, these will eventually pair up to be on the same channel. And what you'll get is you'll get a C on the, on the same channel and a H on the same channel. And this is obviously the host and the client. And that's it, they're now paired up and ready to send data up to three kilometers away. So this could be a IP camera sending data back to a recorder that's on the host end, or you can even use a router uh, to extend Wi-Fi across the bridge. Another feature worth mentioning is the PoE pass-through that's on either beam. Uh, so all you have to do to enable this is log in through a desktop once you've paired the beams up and go into device manager and enable the port. Uh, it shows you on the guide exactly where that setting is on the menu. And obviously that's not enabled by default because if you want to plug these into a computer locally, obviously you obviously don't want to send power down to that. Um, but anyway, let's say on the client side, you wanted to power a camera off of one of these beams, as I do here. You can obviously plug that in through that port and it will power the camera using the injector uh, that you've already got power in the beam. Uh, so this will obviously then take the data, send it across to back to the host, uh, which could be like two kilometers away. For more information or the full spec list, uh, please see our website. On there, we've got the PDF attached to the product, uh, so you can see all the full specifications. Um, also on our website, if you've got an account on there, you will be able to see the pricing for one of these and order one, as these are now available and on the shelves at Mass Digital. I hope this has been helpful. We're definitely a fan of the product as it was quite easy for me to set up, as you can see, and I'm not very technical. As I mentioned in the video as well, uh, you can extend Wi-Fi using these bridges. Uh, so if you'd like more information on that, maybe another video showing in depth how to set that up, uh, please leave us a comment and let us know.